Welcome to our podcast. Well, we're supposed to say that together. Yeah, welcome to our podcast. <laughs> and we are in a different place, as you might recognize. The background is different because we decided it's much more chill. Because at the bed, I think we're like too like. Yeah. I don't know. At the end, you kind of like laid back, but you're too far away. So I think this angle it is better. better yeah. So we can also put the microphones down while I'm holding it because yeah. I'm afraid that you can hear me on the other microphone. So I have to talk. Not too loud. Yeah, not scream around. Yeah, well, we're not gonna scream because it's a chill podcast and we still don't have a name for it. We could call it. Let's talk about the it. The chill box. Ch chill box. <laughs> Ch chill box. Chill box. No, chill podcast, I wouldn't say, but. We're on a box, so. Let's just talk about it. Yeah, so. So, in today's video, we wanted actually to do a Valentine's special. Is it a Valentine's? No, but then I saw the, the calendar and I saw that Valentine's is early. next week. Yeah. And we still have time to do another podcast before Valentine's. Definitely. So, we decided to do randomly today because, you know, we're supposed to post yesterday. Podcast, yeah. Yeah, it was Monday, so it's okay. We're getting as long, in the groove. We're getting in the groove as long as we post at least once a week. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> so... Yeah, we woke up in the morning. We don't have, we have a lot of things to do. We have things to do for sure. But uh, we also have a video we that have we have overwhelming to amount of laziness. This yeah, two well, months. it's okay. <laughs> it's, 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 we said it's January, but it's February now. So, yeah, January is not know. the best financial month for YouTube. Yeah, plus February, I don't know. It's like you want spring to come. Yeah. It's like this kind of like time where like, is it there yet? Yeah. And then just time flies in. Because the winter jobs are like over, yeah. but still not spring is not here either. We should so start... So muddy outside. Yeah. Well, now it froze again. So yeah. that's that's good because we have some projects, some plans, which yeah. uh, we're going to hopefully be able to do. Hopefully, yes. And uh, no so... No matter what, we have to get them done. So yeah, that, that was kind of like the intro. So we are kind of looking at each other, even though like the camera is there. Yeah. And uh, I will be looking sometimes at the camera. To see if it's recording, not to have again a mess up, oh, yes. I'm not recording. So that's why I've been looking like sometimes, you know, one way and another. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we have, uh, we decided today in the morning, let's record the podcast because if we don't do it now, we're not going to do it. Yeah, we have to get it done. Yeah. And uh, so I was thinking like, what can we talk about? What are we talking about? I So I decided I have some questions. Okay. And... Uh, Women intend to talk more than men, so that's why I'm talking more. Yeah. So, because a lot of people said, like, I have kind of, like, insecurity problems and all kinds of stuff. Because I talk too much and I always have to have the last word and all of that. So, <laughs> women, I have seen a lot of podcasts and women is always talking more. Okay? Yeah. It's uh, We are listening. Yeah. It's good when you listen as a guy. Yeah. So, we have some questions. And my phone is there. We forgot to uh, get it before. <laughs> And uh, so let's get started. Yeah, if you um, want to ask the questions. Okay, yeah. So I, did, I, t I asked David if he wants to look questions with me. Like yeah. if he wants to look for some. And he said no. No, no, it's no up I'm to surprised. Me. <laughs> so I'm the one. You can you can read the questions if you want. No, no, read them, read them, read them. Okay. So I don't read the next one because then I'll think about the next one. How can you do that? I do that, yes. You? You read yeah. the top one and then you read the bottom? Yeah, I get to have answers for both and then I'll be ready with all of them. And then my mind goes mess. <laughs> And uh, talking about mind going mess, I have been struggling with uh, some panic attacks and uh, the aftermath of a panic attack, which is like derealization and depersonalization. So if I'm not focused here and there, it's uh, that taking over and I'm going to try to keep it under control and pull this through because uh, the more I think about something else, the better it is. Yeah. So uh, let's get started. I have found some like... I don't know, childhood questions, so we can go like a bit in the past, start a bit fun. And okay. then the deeper we go in the podcast, I think the more serious it's going to get. So let's get started. What did you enjoy doing as a kid that is no longer part of your life? And we both can answer the questions. Okay. But I'm just reading yeah, that answer already, already? Well, I kind of like did not really want to have a question ready, so it's fair. Like, you know. Oh. Uh. Am I supposed to... You can answer, I guess. Make an you answer? Have something? Yeah, you uh, have to make something. What do I have that I enjoy doing? Well, you... Okay, I, I'm not going to talk for you. I, okay. used to, I used to enjoy <laughs> swimming a lot. Did you? I would love to Whoa, they love enjoying swim. swimming. And I was in the water all summer long. I think that's all the kids know, right? It was like three times a day we're going to swim. Yes, and now I can like put and like now a now I just bracket. don't feel like it. Yeah, last summer you went... I'd rather take went... a shower. <laughs> <laughs> last summer... Last summer wasn't that bad, but the summer yeah. before you went to swim, I think like... You, I could count them on one hand. 
Yeah. No, this summer I went more than ten times, so you can't count around. <laughs> more than two hands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I don't know. Something I used to do is like a lot of crafts. I used to make bracelets. Well, I made last year some bracelets. Yeah. But um, crafts overall and like spending time. But I think you're gonna get crafts. that back with kids. Yeah, for that's sure. why I've been a lot like really pushing myself. I just hope our kids are in interested in crafts. I think so for I think sure. it's like crafts that I like. I was obsessed. I was even selling crafts. Like, <laughs> so I was an entrepreneur. I think it's called like. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I kind of like I have like three boxes of yarn. I do want to start knitting a hat again. So like okay. kind of like crafts, not 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 really. Yeah, you have else. a lot of yarn that you have bought for projects. And yeah, for use. projects and never use. Well, you also buy things for projects. Yeah, we're, never I was use. saying like that. Like we're both like that. <laughs> buy things are probably more expensive. Yeah. So. Okay, so we're not gonna go too deep in the question thing. Like, yeah. Are yeah. You, yeah. You swimming? I guess that, that's a that's yeah. A good answer. I think everything else is okay. <laughs> okay. What food or drink do you um? What what little? <laughs> okay well that, that, that we keep that in yeah what food or drink most awakes like awakes feeling of home for you or like kind of like what like childhood like that's I what i thought like childhood food or like because i've seen those on tiktok as well like people have like a childhood food mm, i don't know pickle soup maybe pickle soup maybe yeah is it really yeah or I sour, sour, <laughs> sour, the sour, no, sour leaf. Sour leaf, yeah. The sour leaf soup with egg, boiled egg inside. And what's a drink you used to make as a kid? A drink? Yeah, like a drink, like that you made and... As a kid, <laughs> I made my, pretty much my lemonade was taking some sugar and putting it in water. <laughs> so sugar water. We didn't have syrups, we didn't have like lemonades and things, so yeah, it was I just guess. sugar water. Which, you know, I wasn't allowed to drink, so. <laughs> and uh, for me, the first thing I remembered... It, it's kind of like weird, gross. I've told you about it. And you did the same. What? Well, we're not with the same food. I used to take chicken nuggets. Well, they were pre-cooked kind of like. And I yeah. was putting them in the microwave. Ah, uh, okay. Because I was waiting for my mom to finish work. And uh, I was hungry. I didn't want to eat alone. I was waiting for my mom. I knew she had like 20 minutes more work. And uh, for me, that was like eternity. And I was yeah. taking nugget by nugget and putting the microwave. <laughs> And I did the same thing with, <laughs> with dumplings. dumplings. I would take frozen dumpling, put it in a microwave, and eat them. Fast. Because yeah. if yeah, anyone exactly. sees me. Fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was always like, am I hearing the door upstairs? Is she, is she done work? Yeah. Okay, let's put another one in the microwave. It's not the best. I okay, was doing I that do... with dumplings, and I also was uh, stealing the cubes for sugar. We had the cubes, oh, full box of that. sugar. Yeah. For, you know, you throw in like yeah. one or two cubes, it's just a teaspoon. I was just eating those like candy. No, I used to do that. A drink, I don't really... We used to have this, like, kind of, like, pellets kind of thing. It's like, you mix it with water. Yeah. And I used to we always... Have similar thing. Yeah, and I used to... I don't know if you know those. And you mix them with water, so it's, like, dry, like, yeah. instant coffee it looks, almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you put them in water. I don't see them anymore in stores, so I don't know I where I saw they them went. once. I saw them, I saw them. Yeah. That was kind of my childhood obsession for a while my since my mom called. stopped buying it because i was consuming it way too fast and it was not the healthiest so. it definitely is not healthy not at all artificial <laughs> so my colors. mom stopped buying it just for that reason artificial drink i think worse so, than buying like lemonade from yeah store so Probably. yeah pretty pretty weird we were as kids <laughs> yeah so um what else who was your favorite disney character or pixar character growing up i put that in because i thought it's like Okay. I don't know. And by the way, I got all the questions online, so I did not come up with all of them. <laughs> with some, but um, um, I don't know. I thought it was kind of fun. Pixar Disney. I don't know. Wally, maybe. I had a big time on my life where I was watching Monsters University. Monsters University. That yes. was a big one. Toy Story. Toy Story? No. Honestly? I watched Toy Story a lot. Mm, I watched the bit. Then it was Cars, because my brother kind of like. Oh, Winnie the Pooh! Mm. Is that like Pixar? What is that? Disney? It's... What is that? Winnie the Pooh? Is it its own thing? I don't know if it's Disney. I don't think it's either. I think it's something else. I think it's just Winnie the Pooh. It's... I don't know who took it over now, but... I don't know. <laughs> Fun fact, I never had obsession with princesses. Yeah. Never. I've seen all like, the... If you dis... ask me, like, if you ask me, like... Probably all the Disney movies I've seen. I've seen, point. yeah, of course. But I was... Oh, one thing I liked was, like, the um, Snow White, but the German version, where they did it with, like, real people characters. Oh, okay. Reenactment. Reenactment with real people, and they had, like, extra extension of the source. It was, like, one hour something. 
Yeah, I like like Latvian movies as well. Some of them. Yeah, we also had like People Long Sock and those, but those are not Disney. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I don't know. I, don't, I think Universe. Uh, that's Pixar. I liked watching Monsters. Monsters. Yeah. Monster University. That's Pixar. I had a big face of that. Maybe. Yeah. I I well I I liked it because we had Saturdays playing always Saturdays. Evening was always cartoon. Friday evening yeah. was always an action movie with the black dot that you're not allowed to watch. <laughs> and um, and then on Saturday evening was at eight o'clock was always a cartoon. I was watching German TV. And then a lot. on Sunday morning you could rewatch it if you're not, not allowed. I was watching German uh, TV a lot. Luckily, my mom had a satellite dish, and we were watch. I was watching that a lot. And they have like one channel that on the weekends morning is full kids channel they make it into with like some history some um, all kinds of things yeah. for all kinds of ages and then we have a kids channel that is completely just for kids in the morning they play for like babies and then later on the evening more adult like mid the evening yeah so i was watching a lot of that barely in a greek tv so that's kind of our childhood yeah, I grew up with all the movies being dubbed in Latvian, so watching yeah, them in English well. is weird. Yes, 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 yes. All the movies, they were either in Greek or in German. So yeah, we didn't really have a normal childhood. No? Seems like. I mean... Yeah, <laughs> Not I mean, like, uh, like, no, like, you know, every other person, like, microwaving nuggets and they're watching, not the typical, like, watching them, but not fun fun of, like, yeah. princesses. Oh, I also like Tinkerbell, but that was later on. <laughs> okay, uh, we are still in the past. I have two questions about the past. Yeah. So, what have you, uh, what have you, the high, uh, wait, how are we gonna, wait, <laughs> cut, but you can cut. Uh, okay, it's written a bit wrong. What have been, uh, okay, next question. What have been the highest and lowest points of your life? So, like, your highest and lowest point oh, of your I life. Don't know. That's a big question there. Wait, you don't know what's your highest? <laughs> Not quite. <gasps> what? meeting you i don't know like i don't know there's many high points so it's okay like yeah hard to... so just say some i don't know coming here has been high yeah but not the highest it's, i guess yeah i think so no for me getting the freedom away from my father and moving to greece was a pretty good point as exactly. well exactly so that's also highest but also like but the then dinner... i had some lowest ones after that as well yeah. and i had some lowest ones before that i've had many low points so i can't really put my finger oh that's the worst because there's so many bad ones yeah, I guess. And there's many good points as well. For me, one of the highest is one of the low. I I don't know if it was together combined. One of it's like kind of the same year, like my lowest and my highest. Which is kind of like my lowest is um kind of like failing graduation and exams and the breaking up with my longest like crush and not crush boyfriend back then. Yeah. The breakup teenage breakup is the worst if you've been through it you know but um so that was one of my lowest really low point of school and all of that and yeah. highest was directly after knowing that i actually did not really fail school i had a lot of other opportunities i went to us i went to germany i did uh, volunteering for like three months so it's like a lot of high points came after it yeah and of course coming here and here if we just take just the here part there's been so many low and highs as well like yeah. low, like a lot of animals passing away. It's kind of a low. Yeah, lack of money. Lack of money, but we pulled through it. And high points <laughs> also been a lot of money from uh, YouTube. Yeah, a lot of support, a lot of money. Yeah, it's and been up and down. Our happiness together, yeah. our bonding, our marriage. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's been a lot of highs and lows, yes. and there's gonna be more. There's always gonna be more. I hope not too many lows, yeah. just highs. Okay. What's the biggest risk you've ever taken? I want to kind of like combine the top of bottom. Biggest, biggest risk. And would you do it again? Yeah, for me, it was like leaving my father and going to live on my own in a random country called Greece. <laughs> it was a big risk, but it worked out. So not that bad. And for me also, the highest risk was coming here. Coming here. I guess that it was, was a, a risk, risk as well, but I would do it, again. it wasn't as bad because we you know own the place well, for you so. yeah i guess for you yes for me i and have not really Latvia, so. for um, me it was okay but it's always a risk yeah yeah i for me also coming here was like a bit of an insecurity kind of like yeah. but for some reason i was fully autopilot that whole time like i had if i think back with the fears i have now the stress i have now the panic i have now yeah i don't know how i did it <laughs> So I would, if coming here is, a, yeah, I, I would do it again. Yeah, I don't think there was 
Also going to US, that was not really a risk. No. It was more adventure. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's about the past. Let's talk future. <laughs> uh, if you could ask um psychic 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 one question about your future um what would you want to know um i don't know yeah w while we take time you can also think to answer those questions in your mind if you want <laughs> i don't know it's what would you ask will all my dreams come true kind of but like that's just a very that's weird like, question because yeah. a lot of dreams are unrealistic yeah i guess and um i don't know there's nothing really specifically i would ask no uh yeah will i live a happy life and that's it. i guess that's a pretty good question yeah and probably the answer will be yes because <laughs> i'll be happy at no the end matter. of the day yeah, yeah with whatever i have i would ask like will i have a successful happy family yeah will the world end <laughs> Before I die. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Will I survive? <laughs> Will I sur survive the world ending? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's also a cool question to but know. If I will be happy the rest of my life, that means... That answers it, that you will be alive. That, yeah, the you... war will not go over uh, me, or the war will kind of skip me. Yeah. War. Okay, that's... Un any world ending. Okay, that's All a right. bit unrealistic. Yeah. Realistic, uh, I mean, realistic, unrealistic, yeah. World can end. Okay. What would you ask? <laughs> Weird. Yeah. I don't know, future is weird to think about. I'd rather yeah. just focus on now. I guess. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I don't know. I kind of like the tropics, but then I see the spiders and creatures that yeah, they like have. Yeah, like Australia. No, Australia is too but freaky. But then there's so many snakes. I would live on an island that's big enough. Quite a big island, like let's say 20 hectares of island that's I privately guess. owned oh, by me. Okay, okay. It's okay, in the Ecuador area. <laughs> uh, so it's like Ecuadorian, you know, all year round nice weather. Um, and the creature amount on the island is very low. Minimal. Yeah, nothing dangerous. Would you not miss there. snow? Because there's islands. No, I'll be fine without snow. Yeah. And cold, yeah. I'll be I okay. I like cold. I could rather go to Iceland then. Oh, no, 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 I don't like. <laughs> no, yeah, I actually would also like summer. Iceland mm. and nine degrees in the summer no, doesn't yeah, sound I guess. very good. I guess. I'm more of like a cold. We had nine degrees two days ago, so that would be Iceland summer. I guess. I don't think that would be I enjoyable. I can forget all my summer clothes. Yeah, you're just wearing winter clothes in summer. And then like one <laughs> random day, maybe it goes up to 20. And that's a heat wave for um, Iceland. I mean, I do like it here. Here's not for bad. For me, a dream scenario good would be... Good summers, good winters. To have like a lot of money, like a lot, a lot, a lot. To have like places everywhere. Yeah, that's also a good option. And another dream of mine was always to open a rescue center for animals. Yeah. In different continents. So I could have like a tiger rescue place, an elephant place, like all different yeah, animals. Yeah, help rhinos and elephants. Yes, I would love that. If there was one thing I could do my whole life, but that's also like, I don't know, you don't have a life of your own much. That's like homesteading everywhere. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would love that. Th that's a good way of saying it. Homesteading everywhere. So like, here in winter you go there. Yeah, I go like rescue tigers yeah. and play with tigers and but cuddle. You need workers <laughs> and people that take care yeah, of no. them. It's and not I'll... you're not the main caretaker. You're just there to visit. Yeah, I guess. You're a visitor. But then you can also go visit. Then I guess, and you don't have the responsibility. Yeah. Okay. In theory. <laughs> uh, so where were we? What does your dream home look like? Dream home. Um... I chose these questions because like we kind of like living in like dream plays and we like, are creating our own dream right. house yeah the so, only thing is we're not able to build a house from ground up because if we were we would change a lot of the things yeah but we with what we're working with i think once this house is finished it will be kind of like a dream house of course the dream house is that castle for 1.4 million that i found <laughs> That's a dream land around it. That's yeah. my biggest thing. Is ninety hectares the, of land is all around it. Forests, rivers flowing through, springs, yeah. many buildings. Like I think it had scenery. like thirty buildings uh, you own. Storage would be unlimited. It has two point five thousand square meter, you know, space. Yeah, insanely amount to heat or renovate. Can I say quickly? But then, that's a dream. Then I would get my cloth tower. You would get. <laughs> I think you could. Get, there is actually a tower in that building. That is the staircase. Ooh. Yeah, this is amazing. Now we should talking. go visit it as potential buyers. Well, when your brother comes, Just I guess we'll like more Just do like a review well. of the place and ask them if we can film it. Just to show you what it looks like. Mm. And yeah. it's 1.4 million. And in still on sale. US prices, that is just a normal home in yeah. some areas. 
And we are talking about a castle here with so much a land, lot of land that you don't know what to do with. And probably not forest to keep your fire going, like mm. your you know stove going endlessly because yeah. it will regrow by the time you finish the forest. So. And then I was thinking babies will get a room in that castle. Yeah, you could pretty much put your animals Every in the animal castle if you really want, but there is no, no, no. insane amount of barns yeah. and proper stables. Ooh. There's horse <gasps> stables, there's everything. Yeah. Well, and then there's if, big garages. Oh. If we can buy that, then we can also buy it. I think course. it has also a fully concreted road in. Okay, like so someone that's... has asphalted a road in. Nice. So you have a nice hard road, never to worry about dirt roads. Okay, so I think we agree on light. We, then we that could... would be a dream, right? But we can build this one also pretty good. Yes. It, I don't need so much space. I rather I like the land more and so many buildings. Like I could yeah. have so many different things in different places. And the castle itself is so big that you could have many rooms for many purposes and yeah. wouldn't have to worry about oh yeah it's too messy and too weird. not not organized you could have room. a barn for everything yeah i could have a, for, a barn for my crafts oh well i would do that in the house because we have way too many rooms anyways yeah that is a massive place so, half of it it was renovated and central heating has been installed so it's like someone has started working on it just run out of money okay so i think we could move in together like we could live together there because it's like both of our yeah it just place. need <laughs> a small amount, amount of, of money yeah yeah to even buy it and then to get started with it and then but, tax would be pretty high maybe not high but like yeah a few thousand a year but uh, i also like this place like we're gonna get to the point of it this being place a dream is house. nice yeah were you like if i had all the money in the world i would turn this house in my dream house first yeah of course you or, like buy this. the other one just to have it and then like yeah never know <laughs> so no one takes it away there's and... a lot of cleanup on just the land property there's more buildings required imagine the videos we could do yeah <laughs> I think budget does limit our quality of our videos and also the amount of things we can do. Like I'm thinking like when I'm building like the little machine, for example, like what could I build if I had higher budget? Yeah, that's what I Not talking David about wants. like in limited budget, like even if I had 10,000 to build something, I could build it so perfect that yeah. it would be matching the same quality as you could buy from the store. I asked David once because he said like I cannot fall asleep because I'm like dream like thinking and like calculating how to build my machine and this and that and how much I could do and what to do. Yes, and, and I need to I think it him, through with no, the equipment I have and yes, the, and I, the um, materials the budget, I have. Yeah. No, and I asked you, do you like dream of it like in a way like you can build it now or with unlimited resources no limited resources then i don't need to dream about it you then i it. can just do it yeah because yeah. i know how i want it the hardest thing is how can i turn a car's front axle that is meant for a big car into skinny tiny one yeah. and make it all work and then turn this old fence into a frame and then turn these old rails into a front loader well, I lost it's you there. all hard to do <laughs> yeah and then uh, like i can google how to make a bucket right but how do i make a front loader bucket from just the small sheet that the neighbors gave me yeah. you know it was barely enough and then i needed to use scrap yeah. metal i used a barrel <laughs> and 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 the things break because they're just first of all not my welder enough. is not the best and also the material is way too skinny uh i could work with the worst like it's a bad welder but with the material being too skinny and ripping because the material is bad yeah. That, yeah, that sucks. So if I had higher budget, I think the projects would be a lot better. And that's not talking just my machines. It's talking about anywhere. Like if yeah, I had straight course. wood yeah. to work with instead of old wood. Um, I mean, I old can... wood is nice. Old wood is nice. But if you're trying to Depends, do a project yes. that needs to be quite yeah. straight and perfect, then it's hard. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, the I budgets think... on projects yeah. and lack of budgets is um, stops a lot of projects and a lot of our dreams and ideas. And But the lack of finances got us to this beautiful... it does make creative yeah in into in, in, like instead of like oh yeah let's just go to ikea and buy furniture yeah, that was we the make thing. Our furniture. like before we came here we're like plus support everything plus support put plus support ceilings yeah, yeah, yeah. And like that is expensive and then we're like yeah no we, we realized like it. we came here we had like a really like minimum well like we had four thousand I don't yeah. know if I've ever said that. We had 4,000 budget. And that, the, well, like, tools alone went, like, a 1,000. A 1,000, and that was, like, not the best tools. But and then living on, living for those few living months for those was, few... like, a 1,000. So 2,000 only went to renovation. If even. Yeah, 600 in the bathroom. And yeah, that was already... Bedroom, two bedrooms we had to build, so... So, that. yeah. So pretty much that makes you really creative and, like, reuse a lot. Yeah. And I am not regretting the time where we had a lot no. of struggle. And like, we will one I day go glad. back and redo the floors from of being course. the lowest laminate to proper proper hardwood proper hard like we yes. did in the storage room but it's working for now and yeah. the innovation like goes in some things were a bit sloppy even with the low budget <laughs> like not measuring how low of 
a beam i'm doing yeah. the ceiling to be all equal and having way, random yeah. height by the way yeah we saw there on one side of the beam is like i was like with my head up and looking i don't know why i was just like yeah. i don't know looking at the spider webs that we have to clean yeah we have to clean and i saw webs. that there's a beam like what have we done there no no it's, it's not <laughs> done by us but no, well, yeah, but we put the side woods, like... We could have, in theory, fixed it by pulling the beam in, but maybe uh, it doesn't reach the roof. Uh, I don't know why they have done it like that. I don't know. Well, but it anyways, works, so... Anyways, I would not go back in the past and make us rich and start this whole journey no, 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 with, like, full pockets. Different. I think rather... I like our Learn journey. from the yeah. journey, and then we in the future we're gonna be better. But the, not at this point, We have I to could... remember we're also 25 and 20... No, 27. What? And 25, you are nearly 26. Oh, now you mean? Yeah, oh, and okay. uh, that <laughs> is still that. young, where, you know, yeah. most people don't own a property yet, and we have already yeah. learned how yeah, to do Yeah, those questions things. were, like, online for, like, couples kind of, like, questions. They also yeah. had a lot of, like, personal relationships that I left out for Valentine's. And, I think, uh, so I think, that's why, um, like, dream house, dream relationship, dream things. But, like, we're kind of, like, living yeah. our dream. We are living our dream, and, and we are doing nice. a dream job where we are allowed to do whatever we want, in theory. Yeah um and people just watch it and we get paid for it <laughs> it is still very hard to come up with creative ideas or um fighting against algorithm okay well that's for another topic we, <laughs> we actually had a topic like that okay well we are running out of time and i have a lot more questions we're running out of time no really? well, okay well it can be as long as it wants to be <laughs> yeah okay okay well there's one last question for a future what is the single most important goal you want to achieve in the next 10 years my single and most important goal yeah have children many well for me i would put it more like a successful rich uh family kind of like you know like finances to be good yeah no, because no, otherwise having a family good. without good finances yeah i mean either you. way if youtube is not providing enough money i'll just have to quit youtube and go work well I'll i don't think no you would choice. ever go really to work i think we are creative enough to come up with something yeah and that um, still is like oh whoa what what cut is that what where there on the and the compost pile. It's what? a ginger cut. Oh, sh I don't see that far. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cut. So uh, we are back, and uh, while David was having the phone call, I remembered that this a uh, ginger cut we saw that I wanted to film that is gone. <laughs> it's actually Evie's boyfriend. You remember her? Yeah. You remember him in summer? She was spending a lot of time outside when he was outside. Yeah. So I think um, I just here to say hi to Evie. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but he was on the compost pile, which uh, to... he's maybe very hungry. Yeah, I need to see if he's not going to the barn. That's what I was thinking. Okay, well, if he's now going through our trash, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue with the podcast. Well, a bit of a reality check here. Yeah. And uh, so, yes, our we're, goal we're, we're. is pretty much the same. We just want to be financially really, really good and have, like, how many kids do you want in 10 years? I don't know. Three, four? Well, three for sure. Well, wait. I guess four? Makes sense. I guess, like, as many as we can get. Right, because I am 25, so in 10 years I will be 35. So yeah, I guess four kids. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on with like money kind of related because we're talking about finances. And uh, I think those are quite of an interesting questions that we're just going to kind of like go okay. through them a bit fast. Are you a spender or a saver? I go to you guys as well. Like, what do you... Um, In between. I think you're more like when I met you, you were a spender spender all the way <laughs> yeah i never really care about having extra saved up or something. i don't have Which stress bad. or worry about it i am definitely a key um a saver yeah no you definitely Keeper are because you had also saved your birthday monies and everything oh yeah i was kept saving all the money not with treating is, yourself in theory which is also not good because like if you save so much money and then like when do you expect to use it yeah and for what but you need i think but you need to be is. You see him again? A very bright color. Oh, he's like really orange. Yeah. <laughs> Is he looking for Evie? Um, so yeah, I think you need to be like a perfect balance in between. Like save what you have to, but also like treat yourself and spend money. Where, yeah. But no, not like really like buy bags or good. For me at least, not like that where I would spend the money. More like self-care or yeah. massages and like stuff like that spa spa <laughs> okay well you're really interested in this yeah no i'm just checking if he's going in the goat barn but now he's skipping it and going further okay um what's your biggest financial regret if financial any regret if any um 
I was thinking about some, but then like like investing mm. in websites that promise you wealth and they yeah, are yeah, 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 yeah. We have yeah. done we're, like we're, three of those or something yeah. and trusted them. Once I think we also made like, our money they back. Say, like you, but then like, like no. any extra you didn't get out. All about like those Bitcoin time yeah, things, yeah, no, if you know, fake. you know. You can't make money out of nothing. We did we tiny learned. bit, but then like no, no, no we made it rock. back what we put in. Yeah, which is at least good. But then like four hundred extra, you couldn't take out. Yeah, it was just like yeah, oh, website dial, yeah. like just pending all the time. Yeah, so and we they, were apparently really... they went bankrupt, <laughs> and you know nothing you would, nothing you get. But it was a scam. Yeah, from the so get-go. I guess only though it's not really like anything we really bought that I would say like no. like I was saying like second tractor. We- but no, it helped us get the heralds in winter. Second tractor, without that, yeah. we would be have, struggling. We yeah. would be wheelbarrowing each yep, yep. each day hay a lot. So, no, not really. Your tricycle, that needs to be fixed. My tricycle, <laughs> I have big plans with it. And uh, probably at the end of the day, I might sell it, but I might keep it. I don't know Let's what see. I will do with it. For me as well, like, but that's not really financial. Like, I buy no, a lot of crafting it was 150. things. No, but me. Like, I buy a lot of craft crafting yarns and things that i don't yeah. really use like i haven't used a lot of like pearls and stuff but that's not really like a lot of money i spent yeah maybe but. like the <laughs> tractors could have been better but or i could, have, could get the price down if i understood that they're not working correctly yeah but i didn't so but I, then again i bought the nice blue tractor yeah. now i'm gonna put a fresh engine in yeah and it's gonna last me. So it's not really like, except of like being like messed over with <clears throat> websites and stuff, like trying to spend, like yeah. to put money somewhere. Except of that, I don't think we have I don't any think other. I've bought many things that are like, oh, that's a scam no. or something, or, or like, oh, we didn't wor- need not it. Not worth it. Yeah. Yeah, not worth it. Like we have a good computer, a good camera, like yeah, and we use we need everything. It. We, use and it. we need it. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but we don't really have any really really big like I think we even don't reg- solar panels have paid themselves off yeah for sure yeah like the it house was, like like it's... what was it like a thousand for the panels yeah. and 500 for the inverter like it's not like we regret buying the house or like financial no things. house is definitely not a regret <laughs> maybe a bit the apartment the, but we can still sell it we can probably still more sell money. it and make more money so i guess like it's always like oh that but then you think its <clears> value <throat> is higher like even yeah. the van value right now like as it is probably nine ten thousand so at the end of the day so in Not theory, really, yeah. for buying for two point five thousand, that's <clears throat> quite a good yeah. investment, and you know we haven't put any money in it. Okay, um, would you rather spend money to travel the world, or have the house of your dreams, like your dream house? Definitely house of my dreams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll save up to travel the world. I'll be fine. True. True. I w- yeah, like travel the world. I feel like that's a second for me. Okay, listen. If you, if you travel, because it's more better yeah. to have a comfortable life and stable future. Because if you have your own house property, you have a stable future. You will never be yep. kicked out of it. Exactly. I was saying like, unless a highway wants to be built here and you're kicked out, but I still, you get it. paid for that. Yeah. So. No, I was saying like, travel the world definitely sounds like awesome and great. Like, to have but a- then again, I've seen people travel the world for three thousand, and I don't think you can buy a house for three thousand. So. It depends yeah, well, on if, your budget traveling. If you're traveling no. well, if it says cheap, like, you're traveling medium or traveling luxury. Well, then you also like your house value will Yeah, as well. If you're living you cheap, know? you're living no. medium or living luxury yeah. as well. So Because it says yeah, if you can buy the dream, dream house. house, then you also are able to fly business and mm, stay at best hotels. Private, you know? you, I would say. If you're oh, building okay. a dream house, well, you it cannot... should be a few million at least. Yeah, but you cannot drive everywhere, fly everywhere private. You can buy a airplane. No, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Uh, so yeah like traveling the world sounds amazing but then you like at some point I you're feel gonna like get it's sick repeats of it it's of repeats itself yeah. a lot like in europe like you go from city to city and it feels like every city is repeating well, itself they do have the their nice changing. places they do and, like, but then you, you get sick of fact, the stress yeah. you realize the prices and everything that is touristic is yeah. overpriced right yeah. the restaurants are overpriced um, and for the quality of food and for the quality of food is less there yeah. are some good restaurants but that's of an course. exception but um, i'm saying like you can go to five places in europe and you feel different, like, like cities like north itself. south like you know i feel like if you go very south <laughs> italy and greece and all that it's, it's like more or less kind same. of the same in for Spain. tourists especially um, there's some differences of course not saying yeah, it's the same no, no, no. for a tourist it feels all the same nice mediterranean yeah. and then you do mid europe is all kind of yeah. ser- germany feeling everything like France, you, you can go germany. to Slo- slovenia and it will feel like germany if you don't know you're not there like yeah it's very similar clean very nice nice houses nice and roads and the north is north and the north the more north you go as what well sweden, Norway, what Latvia. sweden all those things i'm like, not saying that every country is like boring no I'm everyone saying, has like, their differences yeah. but after you have gone through them a few times yeah. you kind of start to see that 
Yeah, it's all kind of the same. Especially for a person like from US or from outside of Europe that has never been here. If he goes to Greece and it goes to Italy, it's kind of the same. Mediterranean, yeah. olive oil, salads, fishes, seafood. Yeah. Then you have Greek. Greece has their like their Different. Greek temples, yeah. and Italy has churches and all kinds of yeah, things. Yeah, of course. Everyone has their own things. So Roman architecture, but Roman architecture yeah. is everywhere around the Mediterranean. So, so I think dream house. Uh, let us know what you think. Dream house. But now we're just world. talking Europe. We have. Yeah, of course. No, no, no. Great Wall definitely of China like, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Thailand. But if you have always a place to go and Back, call yeah. home, and if you own it, yeah. Then you can save up a yeah. lot of money and travel the world. So. Okay, so let us know. Travel the world or buy your dream home if you had unlimited money. <laughs> I think build a dream business for me. Well, yeah, I guess. I think that's also important. Okay, uh, let's get to something. Uh, okay, money is over. Kind of like, I didn't want to too many questions. Okay, okay, something you're proud of. Something I'm proud of. Yeah, that's what I thought in the morning. And that's kind of like why I started the podcast. Are you sorry? Oh, yeah, I it's hope, no, I hope I'm uh, talking loud enough. But okay. it's no, no, going, no, it's going about... pretty okay. good. I Even thought... though I am further than you are. I got scared for a second. That was not recording. No, no, but worst case, we have the microphone. So, uh, what was I saying? That Yeah, that question was kind of like the starter for today's podcast. Because I was like thinking like, question. oh, we could answer questions. And that yeah. was one of my questions. What are you proud of? <laughs> what am I proud of? Yeah. Of my achievements or something? Yeah, like something you do, something you've achieved, something, your habit, something. I, I think this house is what I'm proud of. I'm proud of what I've built, it. yeah. I could yeah. never probably sell it just for that reason because oh, yeah. I couldn't see someone else changing it or doing what they want to do with it. Overall property that and is a That is one of a fun facts and reality. We bought this house with the intention. I don't know if we've said it anywhere. Like we probably said it, like to flip it. Because yeah. we love those flipping videos of houses. <laughs> and we're like, we're good at it. We're going to flip it yeah. and sell it. Well, no, we're not selling it. I no. think we've said it before. But we, I would, I would, if I had to buy a new house, same house even. I would I, not sell it. I, but I could build it up and sell it. Like, this I, one? No, no, no. I'm oh, saying a different one. house. Oh, yeah, the different if one I buy a here. house just for a project and building yeah, 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 it yeah, and yeah. selling it, then it's different. But yes. then again, I'm also investing money in it. And uh, probably I'm never going to do it the same as this one. No. I can do it similar, but never the same. But it's also not going to have the same emotions, same story, same no. everything. So I guess you're proud of the house? Yeah, definitely. I am proud that as I'm well of the house. I'm also proud of my skills of learning the tractors, but... Yeah, that's also good. That's also a yeah. thing to be proud to of. To be able to repair the tractors and have the green tractor running so perfectly. Makes yeah. me proud. Yeah, that's something nice. that was completely everyone <laughs> said that it's garbage. Yeah, pretty much. I think that's what have what you done? What have you more. bought? Yeah, it makes it better. You it need makes to come it more satisfying. Closer, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that is at least that that is nice that you. Yeah, but also all the property value and... yourself like that. You think you're proud about it. it's it's a big thing. I'm proud as well. Oh no! Every time I hear the truck running, I'm proud of it. Yeah, he always is like, "Ooh, my beast." <laughs> yeah, no. Um, no, I'm also proud, of course, about this house. How much I've pulled myself through. How much we have done here. But I'm also proud of myself. How good I am at languages. I'm currently yeah. speaking three. Three fluent. Three fluent languages. And fourth and fourth coming. one coming up. <laughs> it's soon. She's gonna speak yeah. Latvian soon. Like I was thinking. Like we had a conversation with our friend and um, I can listen to one morning. I watch an English video, then straight after I watched a German video and a Greek podcast and talk English with you and a bit Latvian. Yeah. So it's like, I'm proud of my brain. <laughs> no, no, it's a lot. It's it definitely, I think, is uh, the more language, you know, the the smarter, kind of better your brain is. At but I also feel info. like glitching sometimes. But sometimes, yeah, it's overwhelming maybe as well. And together now with all of that. But I'm okay. Just... I, I can switch between. Not as easy. Yeah. Because like sometimes I ask him like, to translate me Latvian and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. but sometimes out. I don't know how to translate. Yeah. Latvian is hard because a lot of words don't really come to a direct well, translation. Same thing with Greek and German. Like I've, English... I've seen English movies being translated Latvian, and most of the times it's wrong words they're using in Latvian. Oh yeah. Yeah, or other way around, it would probably I'm... be bad as well. Yeah, I think English correct us if we're wrong, but it's a quite of a basic easy it's a language. Simple language it's yeah. a simple unless you dive into old english oh, which no, is yeah, of course. you know old words and we could much do more that. complicated and we could do that in another but, podcast but current speak spoken english is quite easy yeah compared to latvian where there's so many words for the same thing greek as well like one thing okay very quick and let us know if you want to do a podcast about about like different languages <laughs> and how do they sound um in english there's no ending of a word that is cute 
Ah, the cute words. Like yeah. we have in Greek and in German, like it ends in aki or For Greek, ula. Yeah. yeah, something cute, like yeah. same in Latvian. I think I'm Latvian, eating yeah. at some point. <laughs> in La- Latvian, it's you can say every word cute. Yeah, everything. Tractoring, ab- everything. Abolling, everything. In German everything. and in uh, Greek as well. I sing grandmas like cooking. Even and even recipes. even curse words can be said cute in Latvian. I guess yeah. Yeah. I guess yeah uh, yeah. No, yeah. Well, Everything yeah. can be cute. Yeah. Uh, it's just so, changing the ending. It's not an But English. in Latvian, which even on the autocorrect on my keyboard, it annoys me that it doesn't understand the changes of endings. Yeah. Like when I'm trying to say about a female um, thing, it's a female word, and the action word needs to be with a female ending. Yeah. And there's four different, like four or three different endings for each word. And it doesn't understand. It's trying to correct me to the basic version of the word. And uh, that's not the correct. Or a lot of words it doesn't even know. I think autocorrect is still even half of the words, like complicated words missing. Someone didn't do a good Finnish job. Got yeah, or before. they're doing it properly by their dictionary, yeah. not by the spoken tongue. And um, yeah, here specifically maybe in this area is completely different than, you know, in Riga they're speaking completely yeah. different words. And we have a lot of words just in Kortland Kurt- Kurt- that are completely unique to just here. And same on the other side of Latvia, it's completely unique words that I wouldn't know. Yeah. So I think... The dictionary doesn't take those in. Yeah. Next up, a really random question. Would you ever get a tattoo? <laughs> Can I get a tattoo? <laughs> I don't have like a need for it. No. But um, if someone offered me for free, maybe I would do one. We, we had a phase. Where we wanted a tattoo? Yeah, we wanted a tattoo. Yeah. I don't Remember know. It's, I don't really uh, need a tattoo. And then we wanted a tattoo and then went to the tattoo place and asked how much it's going to cost. Uh-huh. And then I was like, no, thank you. I am never coming back. <laughs> yeah, no, tattoos are expensive. <laughs> we wanted like, sure, give me your hand. Like we had like this. No, it was other way. Right? Oh, yeah, it was this way. This way, our hand. How was it? I don't remember. Like we wanted to make here on that 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 part of the hand. Yeah, but just a We small wanted to make symbol. like a D. A D. So whenever... Our hands, if there's a photo, if you could put it in. Uh, no, I, I, I know where's the photo. If you find it, if you remember. Where you hold them together. It's, it's like David and Desma. It looks like two birdies kissing. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, you yeah. remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that was the only tattoo we wanted to do. Okay. Not really anything else. But then we just avoided it. Avoided it because the cost was too expensive to mark yourself. Forever. In theory. It's like you're paying to have something forever on your skin. Yeah. Sometimes, some people like that. Permanent marker. Permanent marker. I did have a phase where I was a permanent marker, Avicii. Uh, the two triangles of Avicii. I had a phase where, like, for a month, I kept, every time I was washing my hands, kept pushing it on. Probably not the healthiest. <laughs> but no, actually, no. There's no need. No. I also, I'm, I but, don't get me wrong, I'm also not against people that tattoo themselves who, your body, your choice. Yeah. Some people really <laughs> I don't it. mind it. I really, if you have the money, if you have a friend that does it, do you? Yeah. I, I'm not going against it. Definitely. I don't mind it. If you have a body insecurity, what is it? Like if you body part you don't like or if if any. Skinny. Skinny? Why don't you? Too skinny. Like it's just like you're not 10% too skinny. bit more. I get more masculine. That's what you want to yeah, say. Yeah, well, right? no, I have muscles. It's just more like I have no pump. fat on the muscles. <laughs> more and, pump uh, muscles. Yeah, my fat, bo- body fat is very low. Like, I don't have any body fat. It's just pure muscle everywhere. Yeah. And if I could have a bit more build-up body. I guess, but like... But more my like... <laughs> metabolism is so bad that I can eat as much as I want and yes, it just people... burns. Oh, I, I can't. Of... I can't do anything about it. A lot of you are like, please eat more and yeah, stuff. No. But like, David is eating for like three people. I eat a lot of food. He eats a lot. And I eat many times a day. He, if If we have a day off... Snacks are gone. Anything. Salty speed. Yeah. Uh, I ate yester- yesterday in the evening just chilling in the bed. I ate half a pomelo. You know, the pomelo fruit. <laughs> the pomelo, yeah, babe. I ate half of it. Plus, on top of that, I ate uh, a dessert I made. Yeah, um, which is packed. Which is very filling. filling. And uh, and before, before that, that, we you had ate, like half of a frittata. Uh, which is omelette with um, potatoes. So you had half of that. Yeah, I had a full <laughs> like plate. I, I put pun. the rice on. So I ate a <laughs> lot of food. Like it would be um, too much for a lot of people. Yeah. But my and- body breaks it somehow down and it does not provide it into my fat building. And my fat building yeah. doesn't work, I guess. Okay. Um, and about me, I mean, that's a pretty good insecurity. You have to be skinny. It's not super insecure. It's yeah, just I know I mean. people judge me on it. I know yeah, every but, like, person if it looks would at be me for and judge you- me. 
And people judge being fat a lot less than they judge skinny. Yeah. They're like, why don't you just eat more? You know, like it's a simple yeah. solution. No, but like you don't have something that you see to yourself that is that that's pretty good. No, no, it's it's just because others say it. Yeah. Okay. I have my insecurities like for I didn't worry about it until people really every time I'm at a table Oops. started telling me why yeah. you're not eating, you need to it eat. It is more. annoying. Yeah. Yeah, it gets really frustrating. It gets annoying somewhere like we and don't some people think it's a joke, but like when mm, yeah. I get that joke once a week or multiple yeah. times. I've also seen some other influencers that are skinny, other girls. Same way we don't call fat people fat. fat. Be- yeah, like we don't say that around. Same way it's like kind of like not nice just yeah. because we're skinny and it, you don't call it a sickness or like It's not like it's my choice. I would yeah. like to have a bit more I'm not saying I would like to be fat. I'm just like to have a normal body. It's just yeah. I can't. It doesn't For- work. I've tried everything. I've tried pow- protein <laughs> drinks, I've tried exercising, I've tried yeah. everything. Exercising just burns me. Yeah, burns more anyway, uh, fat away. away. But I tried protein shakes like insane overdoses and it's nothing is gaining me fat. For me my biggest insecurity and it still is is my nose ah your nose is fine my nose like i've seen people with worse noses i, I guess and my my teeth i was for quite a while your teeth is but fine. now my teeth like i'm actually thinking it's kind of like a family thing my grandma has the same teeth my german grandma and my mom so it's kind of like heritage teeth and yeah. i'm don't really need to fix them so why i mean my nose by measurements we've measured (laughs) precisely is bigger by a few millimeters and you can't tell that it's bigger because i don't have that long shape it mine's fatter no yours goes down and mine is also longer in that way yeah but yours goes like i don't know what our kids will get they will get my size of the nose but like pointy so it will be like way bigger than yours, maybe? No. <laughs> <laughs> or it will be something completely opposite and it will be normal. Yeah, so I've gotten know. I've gotten the it's nose. I've gotten the nose from my father's family and the teeth from my mom's. So I mm. kind of like feel like I've gotten the worst part of like either. Like could have not gotten my father's teeth maybe and my German grandma mom's nose. Tiny noses, yeah. Like, yes, my nose goes like out where yours goes like in. I think the bump that you have here, which yeah, also hurts. Yeah, that's my grandma's bump. Um, oh, she also had that. But it hurts. It's not supposed to hurt. I can do whatever with my nose and it doesn't hurt. Right, it's just hurt. this little bony there. You tap it a bit and it hurts. Yeah. Like, I could go fix it for, like, not beauty reasons, but, like, for breathing reasons. But then I have to go through um, fully. No, I don't know what that like... thing is that bothers you. It my must be a bone. It. No, my grandma has it. No, it's a bone, I'm saying. Yeah, that's but... not a... Um, that's not just, like, this front thing is not a bone. <laughs> So you can change the front thing, but I don't know if you can change no, the bone. No, you can't. You can't. You just trim it. Ah, you just trim it yeah. and then put the skin back on. Probably the least plasticky surgery, though, that would be. Yeah. Because you're not cutting your tip of your nose off and okay. then trying oh, to mend oh, it. Okay. Well, let's move on. Yeah, no, I, I don't think you need to change anything. I think yeah. you're perfect. And my lips. Like, honestly... What's wrong with your lips? I was thinking to get a bit of a lip filler. But uh. not like... Filler? <laughs> filler? Like, duck face over that. Uh. Just like a bit. But a lot of people say it hurts, so... I might just accept this the way I am I think and so. live with it. I think it's <laughs> the best you can do. Okay, um, I have just like few more that we could go fast through. That's what we said before, but we didn't. Uh, excuse me, phone. Um, that I asked you before, and you had a really good point that you're just gonna answer it, and I'm gonna agree. Would you rather be very famous or very wealthy? Because it's funny yeah. because of our job, one way brings the other. No, yeah, if you have fame, I mean, no matter which industry you're in, if you are famous, you, have you will money. have money. But some people would like to stay private. But if private. you have money, you're more private, yeah, yeah for sure. That's what a lot of people would rather want. Because with our thing, is if we are doing YouTube and that is our fame, mm-hmm. everything we do is displayed and everything can be judged and people put their opinion on it. Yeah. So we are also doing that to ourselves and we that can be very depressing, of course. For some people, yeah. If, we have learned to yeah, kind of ignore the bad comments. But if, if like... you're getting consistently bad comments about what you're doing and yeah. you're make, making don't. you feel bad when I'm seeing uh, you know, people randomly living, doing 10 times worse things, yeah. and uh, they don't get judged for it because they're doing it privately, yeah. you know? No one's going to judge them. So that sense, it's more probably depression-causing. But if you if you uh, know how to handle you it, you handle it. Yeah, then you're fine. Yeah. Then you just you have a good income and you have a um, easy job in theory. Yeah. Maybe maybe easy. Yeah. A lot easy, of people also don't like to be. F- easy. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting, but a lot of people also don't like to be famous because then you get this like recognized. Like a lot of 
music artists. We and can they get don't re- like we it. get recognized even here in Latvia, but you know, like very <laughs> oh, little. But well, three times, three st- times in the whole yeah. four, three when you the still whole get life. recognized. So, well, but you people... you you can get recognized without anyone talking to you. That's not the point. Yeah, a lot of people might know us and don't not talk. Talk, yeah, not come up to you and talk. <laughs> Which to is you. more weird. So if you see us on the street, please talk to us. Yeah, no. We rather want to know who's watching than like getting sometimes like a weird look that or we whispering don't know. behind. No, yes, yeah. we had that once in the supermarket. I don't know. The, you Little remember that couple? You that. remember that yeah, couple our just age? Whispering. No, just like whispering and like, and staring. oh, you see, oh yeah, and like staring. Like, the, I think that is worse. Like, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. know me, come to me. And that's, I, I talk for my. Yeah. I don't talk for every every famous person. No, no, I think a, a lot of them want a bit more privacy, kind of. Yes, of course. I'm not telling you. I've no, seen big Justin YouTubers, Bieber. They have struggled with that. Like where they can't go on the street yet. Yeah. going out, then the next one's stopping him just because it was yeah. more calm for him. But like, I know also a lot of like medium famous people like they rather like to be stopped and yeah. talked to than just being stared at yeah no for sure okay so i have like three four more questions um if salary wasn't part of the equation what job would you most want to do your store cars i like my job being a youtuber yeah if i could yeah. pay more <laughs> yeah if i could be more famous yeah no for sure <laughs> YouTube, no, is, saying, YouTube is rough right. in the bracket we are in because we're like, it, I could get more money if I went to a job, but yeah. I wouldn't have the freedom that I have now. Yeah. For sure. Okay, well, let's. I, let's and if move it was more stable, because the stability of YouTube is, is really Yeah, bad. a lot of people don't want to do it because of the. And YouTube, mm-hmm. YouTube's equality in terms of how much they pay you and how much they earn is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, I feel like YouTube needs to pay their creators, which actually build their whole platform. And the yeah. reason why they exist is YouTube creators, not YouTube themselves. YouTube is not some magical company that's making the money out of nothing. The creators are making the money yeah. for YouTube. Maybe I feel I like couldn't... they don't appreciate the creators as much as they should. Definitely, I agree. But uh, yeah, I guess I could also do something private, like... I would like restoring wise. cars and building things metal workshop kind of yeah i like working with those kind of things if i could just restore old american <laughs> classics and make money from that i would be happy what are you most grateful for in your life i'm grateful i met you i would answer the same because without <laughs> meeting you i yeah. would definitely not have the same path in my life and without meeting you i would yeah not have the same path in my life yeah so <laughs> okay the rest cool. re- like rest of the things that i've done in my life they have not been as impactful as meeting you. Yeah. The rest has been more meh. Uh, that, that's nice to know that we're in the same path, same. Yeah. I feel like we're in a lot of things in the same wavelength without even knowing it. Now all the people will be like, oh, is he so cute? <laughs> um, what's something you're really good at? I'm something I'm really good at. Mm-hmm. Uh, building things in my mind and then building them in real life without any sketches or previews or anything. My mind works. True. I can say to my mind exactly how I want to build it and I will be able to get the angles, get everything in my mind precisely. Yes, we don't do and any sketches. And then putting it putting it physically to work is harder, but my mind can build it exactly the way I want it. I can build a thing precisely the way I want it. I'm like, <laughs> that will work. But yeah. how do I make it real? Fun fact, David is never, except of once, He's never writing down. No, that I write down so I remember exactly. So we don't need to run in and out about the floor. Uh, like, yeah, uh, that's like a lot so of numbers to... to remember. But if I have to think about how to do the roof, no. I will have it in my mind. You and... will also measure as you go. Yes, I'll measure as I go and I'll think it differently and I'll change my mind all yeah. the time. Sometimes it bites us in the boom because we do Very things rarely. wrong. But uh, no, actually, that's pretty good. We never do sketches because a lot of people like ask the chicken about it. house. We did fully without sketches, without just in thing. my mind yeah. how I was envisioning it, and with as a split we went, and with everything. And it's one of the straightest buildings we have done. You put a level yep. anywhere, and it's perfectly level. Of course, I don't level. know if it's dropped now, but the roof is still a straight line. Yeah, it's although the most it was flattest roof we have done. Although it's in a slope. Yeah, and uh, yeah, no, the whole building we did it's actually really. It's on a slope. We did it perfectly straight. We did the walls perfectly, all ninety degrees. We did that building perfect i don't know how it is now after it's nearly a year no it's more than a year no now. no 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 it's nearly a year because they moved in later on uh, like they, they moved in, moved in march yeah. but it's we started building it yeah. more than a year ago so the foundation's more Not than one year sitting in the ground the yeah. wood wood sticks 
which is not like it's going to be permanently working, but we just always cut the wood sticks and throw it on if yeah, we want. Uh, we were rocks, actually... Like, not rock foundation, we could put it on a concrete foundation or mm. rocks as well. You bury rocks and put yeah, it... I guess. And you can always cut it off, lift it up, and bring it a different place. That's something we were thinking about because we were thinking to keep... We have two tractors, so we could, in theory, synchronizedly drive it. You Very difficult. To... <laughs> you want me to drive a tractor? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you could do it with two tractors as well. You could drive it. I mean, we we are good. The problem is the second tractor that is on the other side needs to drive less speed than the other, kind of matching it. Because if you go a bit too fast, you're running into the building, you know? Sure. You can't be pushing the other tractor, kind of. Okay. And uh, with that, I actually wanted to end. Well, we need to reset it quickly because it's on seconds. Okay. Okay. And uh, with that, we could leave on a cute note. I have one more question, but it's okay. We don't need to answer it because it's like, what do you worry about the most? But that's leaving the podcast on a bad... What worry you about most? I don't know. It's like we're leaving the podcast on a bit of a bad um, ending. I think so it's okay. Think, we leave it I on the ending we had. We had a very nice ending. Very cute at the end and very nice. And so so uh, the idea of being on the table did not work out for me the best. You were holding it the whole time. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like like a musician. I don't know, like a star. You need, we need to buy those know. arms instead. <gasps> yes, maybe. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then you just put it in front of your face. So I feel like those will be better. Yeah, because those that come. Because I think touching it a lot, you're probably making a lot of noise. I'm sorry, guys. So I, I try not. I had the I had all this time the cable. So. Yeah, that's much much better. Cause so now I just better. like. It's okay. So. I was pretty focused. I am um, proud of myself that yeah. we did it. I hope it's all recorded. Good audios are fine. Yeah. Because we cannot really test that before. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'll say another thing, but it looks yeah. like it's all good. This should be easier to edit since there's not really anything that... I, I th we are good at it. We barely, like, I think besides I two think times, cuts, yeah. like two times. I'll have to watch it in very fast speed so I get through <laughs> it fast because it's like maybe an hour. Yeah, David is a podcast editor because uh, I edit the videos and today yeah. we're going to do like, because we have two computers. That's so the reason we it, got two. We're going to do it together. I think. Yeah. So we get it through it faster. And uh, then we can spend time together. Yeah. So hopefully I can run through it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. there was like maybe once or twice something. I think only two out. cuts. Yeah. And then just... Um, cutting off of the camera so, so yeah that's, that's pretty, uh, pretty much, much it, it. <laughs> how you enjoyed hope this you enjoyed, podcast yeah. we so far been consistent we are i'm proud of ourselves that we're week, doing it yeah and we are super grateful for you guys I thank think you so much for all specifically the support in january i'd say you our saved our butt. and members <laughs> is the only reason we're going to be able to pay our bills. So yeah. we're so grateful to have you guys. I know we're saying this at the end, but, yeah. but I hope you all are watching it till the end. I, I mean, hope... you don't have to, but um, <laughs> those who are enjoy here. I it. I, yeah. hope... I like spending time like this and get to kind of like talk about things. Like we may be like, let us know about it's, more topics. Uh, in a live stream, it would work as well, but a lot of people we have questions in the live stream and we feel like the need of answering the questions. Yeah, last time I really got distracted and I also wasn't feeling so good and I got yeah. distracted because, and my mom said it as well, it was kind of like a stressful, it's like we want to answer and David has already the answer for the next question and I'm Yeah, talking, no, because the question is just running by and so, I feel like if I miss a question, people get upset. Yeah. And uh, they repeat the question or they just think we're ignoring it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. That's we're going to see it. you in the we'll, next one. Yeah, let us know any topics, anything and... Uh, anything you want to know. Wrap yeah. it up. Okay. Hope you enjoyed and we're going to see you for Valentine's. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I like your hug. Bye-bye. <laughs>